and now we are done with the two smart contract and now we can start writing some tests to check whatever the contract we have written is it working or not so that looks good let's come here and come back to the test and here we're going to write delete this one so come here and delete this file and we have to create our test file click on this and we have to call let's say single swap js and in this we go to write the test for the single swap so let's start writing so we have to import couple of packages const except and that's coming from the child library and if you don't know that from where we are getting these packages make sure to watch the hard at course and that i have explained everything about this library and how it's work so we have imported this expect and now we have to import the ethers package and that's coming from let's say ether had it so we have these two packages and now we have to simply import the token die we have to simply come here and replace this will become with nine and this will become u s d c and here we have to provide the token addresses so for that what we can do we can come back to the contract and inside the contract we have the addresses so simply copy the address and come and paste here for the die come back and paste the with paste here come back and copy and simply paste here usd so these are the three token addresses we have here now let's come down so these are the general setups we have done and now we're going to write the test so we'll say describe you can give the name whatever you want we'll call it single swap token it will be async function not a normal function and here we're going to define a couple of variables and the reason why i'm going with this approach because i'm going to write multiple tests not only a single text and there are a couple of code which we want to run every time so i don't want to write the same code over and over again in all the tests so what we're going to do we're going to run a before there is a concept in before if you haven't watched the hard make sure to watch in that i have explained so we're going to define one function which will execute every time no matter what script we run and that's the entire logic and that's the only thing you have to know so let's declare a couple of variable let single swap token this will contain the instead of the contract let's define the other one is the accounts define the width and the die and the usd so these are the variables we have and now we're going to use this before in that we're going to take this async and here we're going to run this one so we need to have the account so we'll say account await ether dot get signer and a one so which hard at providers we have the account and we are updating that and now we have to simply get the contract so single swap token we have to use this copy this one and you can see this is the contract name we have given simply copy that one and paste here we'll say await ether dot get contract factory and in that we have to provide the name of the contract now we have to simply we have this single swap token which the variable we have already taken we're going to simply update the data so deploy so in this way we will have all the instant of this contract in this single swap token and that's what we have here now we have to say await single swap dot deployed and everything's working fine hope this makes sense to all of you we have deploy and once it get deployed we have to simply update this one with so with we have this await ether dot get contract at and you have noticed one thing that the ether js we have used it's coming from the hard at we are not using from the ethers package itself because in ether package you won't find this function get contract at so this one is an additional addition by hard at in this ether package if you want to know more about it you can simply visit to the harder documentation in ether js and from there you can easily able to know that what this function does but the one thing i want to highlight here that this get contract at coming from hard at not from ether yes this one is the additional addition to the ether package and this will only work when you will use hard at if you use the normal ether package it won't work and here we have to define so let's come here here we have to define that iweth the interface we have created and that's what we're going to define and here we'll type the name of the token with 
simply remove this and this will be called erc20 token not erc we have to provide the token name so this will become die this will become usd and this time we're going to use the inbuilt uh, this time we're going to use the inbuilt smart contract of unisop for the erc20 token so let's replace this one with the ierc20 and that's coming from the unisop so that's the setup we have done simply copy this one and now we have to simply update here die and usd here so far i believe things are clear to all of you guys and now let's do the console log so we'll say with this will become die this will become the usd and this will become account and now we have to take this one and single swap token we are done with this first block and and this piece of code this before piece of code will run every time no matter what section of the smart contract we are testing this will run every time whenever we try to test the contract and that's the best part because in this way we can easily able to save a lot of time we don't need to write a lot of code over and over again that looks pretty good to me and that's looking fine let's come here and now we have to do a little bit configuration and now the testing we want to do is on the fork network so just do exactly the way i'm doing so let's come here go back to this hardened config file and here we have to define the network so we say non network we'll use this hard hat and we'll say forking and in that we'll say url and here we have to provide the we have the rpc url of our main network main ethereum network and to get that we have to come back to the one powerful thing so you have two option to get the url rpc url you can come to the acmily and i'm going to get it from acmily or you can go to infura so let me log into my account and that's you can see i'm into my dashboard so if you log in create your account you will have a similar dashboard you can see i have already created a couple of projects and right now the contract which i'm deploy nft marketplace you can see a lot of you guys are already visiting that uploading and creating nft and that's why we have so many activities every single day so i have already this main net i will simply open this and i will get this http this is the code so make sure to use your own don't use my otherwise if a lot of you guys are using the same url it will create problem and it might not work so that's the url i am going to provide here so that's the forking network we have taken and on this we're going to do the swap later we're going to talk about that how we can optimize so there is a lot of concept which will keep it for a side so there is a concept of optimizing the code optimizing the version that's all we have but just right now just focus on this so that's the forking network we have close this one and come here open up your terminal and here we have to simply clear the terminal and now we have to simply run npx hard at we have to type test and hit enter so the test is running and you can see the test is passed and as i told you that you won't get any output as we have done the console log but we can't get it but when we write the statement for the testing the smart contract and that will get the data so generally this is how it's work i don't know why it's they have this weird behavior but this is how it's work even i was not knowing this when i was doing this testing when i tried to log the data from this before element the data was not coming so that's the one thing you have to keep in mind so that's the past and now let's write the test for the contract so simply comment this one this looks good to me so far and let's write the function so that's how you can test the contract so we'll come here and we're going to write the it so when you want to test any smart contract section whether you want to test the function whether you want to text the variable that's how you, that's how you have to do you have to write in a it block and you can write the statements the logic you want to write so i'm going to say the swap exact input single that's what we have it's going to be async function and here we'll say const amount in and here we have to provide this big number and let's deposit the event and first we have to deposit the token with to our contract to the router so we'll say await with dot deposit and this is the function we have created in our interface and from there we are getting because this w with has all the function all the instant of the interface 
hope you haven't forgot that and in that we go to pass the value and the amount we want to simply approve so it says that this variable is not defined not find name and why so we have this i know why it's happening so let's do one thing simply select this entire one and simply start cut this one and simply paste here because this is the problem i have done i came out of the block and that's what you have to do and now we have the access of this width variable so first we are depositing the width and now we have to simply approve and here we have to provide the contract the contract address which we want to approve so we want to approve we have the instant of this single swap token in that we have the instant of the swap router and we have the address and in that we go to pass the amount because that's the two parameter we have to pass in the approve if you still have any confusion check the interface in that we have this approve function and these are the two data we are passing in that so we are approving looking fine so far and let's comment this and these are the console log we had okay remember now simply grab this and let's try to access those data here paste here and simply uncomment this and now this time we have to run the script so if we run the script so hard at test and just wait you will find all the data here so single swap token looking fine and here you can see we got all the instant and the test is passed we got all these instants so we have this die function usd function with functions and the function we have created i believe all this makes sense to all of you guys so this is the entire interface providers all the accounts let's do one thing let's try to comment this all and just uncomment this account sections and this will have a lot of account so still you will find a lot of logs here so let's try to test this one more time and here we'll have all the account so just wait and here we have that test is passed and here we have all the accounts so this is the account this one is and this one is we have all these methods providers all the data is available to every single account okay so that means that our, our before function is working fine and now we can start working on our ex main main function so that looks good simply uh let's uncomment this one and now let's try to simply do the swap so to do the swap all we have to do is await we have to call the instant of the contract single swap token and in that we have this function available so this function let's come here go to the contract and in the contract we have the very first function so we are so this is the first function we have to call and that we have to provide the width amount of width which we want to provide and in return we'll get the die token so this is the function we want to call simply copy and simply copy and come back and that's the function we're going to call and that we have to pass the amount because this is the amount we want to provide to this function so and simply console log out the token so we'll say die balance and this data we have inside this await we'll use this die dot balance of remember from where i'm getting this balance of because we have that interface and and that we have this balance of function and that we have to simply pass the address so all the token which we have in the account number one the very first account so we have to simply pass the address of that account and this will give us the data so first we are depositing the width then we are approving the swap router the address then we are approving and then we are doing the simple transaction hope this makes sense to all of you and that's what exactly we are doing input is width and output we're going to die that looks fine to me now open up your terminal and hope finger cross hope everything's work fine so clear the terminal hit the test wow what is this so swap exact input string is not a function so we got a weird here it's, so we have some problem in our code maybe we have some sort of spelling mistake in our code so let me quickly review and let me try to find out what problem we have exactly